They said it couldn't be done. They said the Osmo Pocket 3 was perfection. That the one-inch sensor, the rotating screen, the professional-grade image quality in a body that's small was the end of the line. The peak. They were wrong. For weeks, the dark corners of tech forums, the whispers in supply chains, and the data mine code in new app updates have been pointing to one undeniable fact. The revolution is happening again. The title of this video isn't a question. It's a statement. The DJI Osmo Pocket 4 is here. The specs are not just rumored. They are known. The price is set. And the release date? It's sooner than you could possibly imagine. But what you've heard, what you think you know, is only half the story. The spec sheets you've seen on Twitter? They're missing the most critical, game-changing details. You are about to find out the truth. For the next 30 minutes, we are going deep. We are going to expose every single secret, every confirmed spec, and every hidden feature of the camera that will define 2026. If you are a creator, if you're a vlogger, if you have ever even thought about buying a camera, you cannot afford to miss a single second of this. What you are about to hear will change everything. So, where does this all come from? How can we be so certain when DJI's official channels are silent? It starts with a document. A document that was never meant to see the light of day. A leaked non-disclosure agreement. An NDA. This wasn't just any NDA. We're talking about a document with a penalty clause so severe it stops you in your tracks. $140,000. That's the fine. A $140,000 fine for any tester who dares to leak a single image, a single frame of video, or even a mention of the prototype. Why? Why so high? Why the unprecedented secrecy? Because the Pocket 4 isn't just an upgrade. It's a total reimagining of what a pocket camera is. Let's start with the one thing everyone is getting wrong. The big one. The first confirmed spec. The sensor. Every leak site, every YouTuber is screaming one-inch sensor, one-inch sensor, as if it's news. The Pocket 3 has a one-inch sensor. DJI is not a company that moves sideways. They move forward. Always. The real confirmed spec is not just a one-inch sensor. It's a new one-inch sensor. A stacked CMOS sensor. The same technology Sony has been using to dominate the mirrorless market. What does that mean for you? Speed. Blinding, impossible speed. This new stacked sensor, confirmed by supply chain manifests, unlocks the single most requested, most impossible feature. 4. K at 240 frames per second. Let that sink in. This isn't 4K 120, which the Pocket 3 can only do in slow motion mode. This is 4K 240 as a standard, selectable frame rate. We are talking 8 times slow motion in crystal clear 4K. The cinematic possibilities are staggering. The B-roll will be unbelievable. This is a spec that, until now, was reserved for cinema cameras costing $10,000, $20,000. And it is now in your pocket. This is the end of needing to choose between resolution and frame rate. You get both. You get everything. And that's not all the sensor does. That speed? It means a full pixel readout with zero rolling shutter. Zero. No more jello effect. No more warped buildings when you pan. It means a cleaner low-light image because the processor can handle more data faster. We're talking usable, clean ISO up to 25,000. This is a low-light monster. But a stack sensor and 4K 240 is expensive. It generates heat. How did DJI do it? This is where the second official confirmation comes in. The body. The leaked NDA mentioned new flight safety and battery guidelines which was a weird phrase until a CAD drawing was leaked two days later. The Pocket 4 is the lighter, by almost 30 grams. It's thinner. It's more compact. How? How do you add a more powerful sensor, a chip capable of 4K 240, and make it smaller? You re-engineer everything. The leak points to a new vapor chamber cooling system, a passive-active hybrid that uses the gimbal's own motors to help dissipate heat. It's genius. It's insane. And it's confirmed. But here, here is where we separate the amateurs from the insiders. This is the detail that proves this is happening. The biggest secret. The one that truly explains the $140,000 fine. Are you ready? The DJI Osmo Pocket 4 is not one camera. It's two. You heard me. The leaks have been confusing everyone. Some show a familiar design. Others show a camera that is different. A dual lens system. Everyone assumed one was a fake. 
they were both real. DJI is launching two models, the Osmo Pocket 4 and the Osmo Pocket 4 Pro. The standard Pocket 4 will have the new stack sensor. It will have 4K 240. It will be the camera 90% of people will buy. But the Pro, oh the Pro. The Pocket 4 Pro features a dual camera system. Confirmed. We have the patent filings. A primary 1-inch sensor on the front and a second 50-megapixel 1-1.3-inch sensor on the back, right below the screen. Why? Reaction videos? Sure. But that's thinking too small. This is for true, professional, one-person crew content. The new MIMO app will feature director mode. You will be able to film yourself in crystal clear 4K while simultaneously filming your subject with a main gimbal. The app will save two separate video files or, and get this, combine them in real time using AI to track your eyes and automatically cut between the two feeds. This is a live switching studio in your hand. And that main lens on the Pro, it's not just a lens, it's a variable aperture lens. The leaks, which people thought were for the Osmo Action 6, were actually for the Pocket 4 Pro. We're talking a physical f/2.0 to f/4.0 aperture. You now have real depth of field control. You no longer need to slap on an ND filter the second you step outside. You can dial in the exact motion blur you want. You can get cinematic 180-degree shutter speed in broad daylight with the tap of a button. This single feature completely elevates the pocket from a vlogging camera to a genuine cinematic tool. Let's talk about the other confirmed specs. The ones that are obvious, but still revolutionary. Active Track. The Pocket 3 has Active Track 6.0. It's fine. It loses you if you turn too fast. It gets confused in crowds. The Pocket 4 and 4 Pro, thanks to that new processor, are confirmed to launch with Active Track 7.0. This is not an update. It's a rewrite. Using AI-powered predictive tracking, the gimbal anticipates your movement. The leaked test footage shows a subject walking behind a tree, and the gimbal waits. It doesn't hunt. It doesn't panic. It waits. And as the subject reappears, it smoothly, cinematically reacquires the lock. It's also confirmed to have pet, vehicle, and object tracking. You could draw a box around anything a coffee cup, a basketball, and the gimbal will lock onto it like a missile. For product reviewers, this is the holy grail. What about audio? The Pocket 3's audio is good, but the Pocket 4's is perfect. It's confirmed to have a new 3-mic array with real-time AI noise cancellation. Not a filter. True. On-chip, AI voice isolation. It scrubs wind. It scrubs background chatter. It isolates your voice. And for pros, the new DJI Mic 3, which is launching alongside it, will connect directly to the Pocket 4 with 32-bit float recording. No clipping. Ever. You can scream. You can whisper. The audio is always always usable. Let's review what we know. A new stacked 1-inch sensor. 4K 240 frames per second video. A new, lighter body with hybrid cooling. A Pro model with a dual camera system. A variable aperture lens on the Pro. Active Track 7.0, a true AI-powered leap. And 32-bit float audio integration. This isn't a camera. It's an extinction-level event for the competition. Sony? Canon? GoPro? What are they going to do? The iPhone 16 Pro? It can't do this. The iPhone 17 Pro won't be able to do this. This is a purpose-built machine for creators. Now, the two questions you've been waiting for. The two things that make this real. The price and the release date. Let's talk price. This is where the pain comes in, but also the value. The current Osmo Pocket 3 launched at $519. The confirmed Internal pricing memo we've seen shows a price increase. Of course, the standard DJI Osmo Pocket 4 with that stacked sensor and 4K 240 will launch at $649. It's a jump, $130. But you are getting 4K 240. You are getting Active Track 7.0. It's a pro camera at a consumer price. But the pro model, the Osmo Pocket 4 Pro, with the dual camera system, the variable aperture, the whole package, that is confirmed to launch at $799. And here's the kicker. They're going to sell millions of them. At $799 is still the cheapest, most powerful, most complete vlogging and cinematic system on the planet. Nothing. Gee, nothing comes close. Finally, 
The release date. This isn't a guess. This isn't sometime in 2026. DJI's release pattern is locked. The Osmo Action 6 just had its November launch, clearing the way. The factory production lines, according to shipping manifests, began full-scale production three weeks ago. The leaked NDA? It expires on November 25th. The press embargoes? They lift on November 27th. The official, confirmed release date for the DJI Osmo Pocket 4, the day you can go online and order one, is Tuesday, November 28th, 2025. In just a few short weeks. This is it. This is the moment. The Pocket 3? That was the test. The Pocket 4? This is the final form. All the official specs are here. A stacked sensor. 4K, 240. A dual camera pro model. Variable aperture. AI tracking that actually works. And a price that, while higher, is an absolute steal for what you are getting. The age of the bulky, expensive mirrorless camera for vlogging is over. The age of the smartphone rig is 